Hi, I'm Hugo Taylor, and I'm working with the Food Standards Agency this year for its Valentine's Day campaign. I'm giving my advice on how to plan the perfect date, including all that's important in a restaurant booking. Planning a date can be stressful, particularly if you want to impress. There's always a worry that the perfect night out might turn into a dating disaster. For me, choosing the right restaurant is top of my list of dating priorities. So do the research in advance. If you can't see a green and black food hygiene rating sticker in the window, you can do one of two things. Ask the staff or go online. You can visit food.gov.uk forward slash ratings on your phone and find out straight away. So once you've checked the food hygiene rating, it's now on to the date. So my top tips are, first off, be assertive. If you're a man and you're booking a date, make sure you've told her in advance where you're going and you pick somewhere you think is fantastic. I always also want to tell a girl what I'm wearing. Cuts out all of her need to worry about what she's going to wear. You don't want to turn up and be wearing a suit and she's wearing something completely else inappropriate. Second off, don't order anything that's messy. The last thing you want is all of your food covering the rest of your body. Turn your mobile off. How offensive is it when somebody's there in the middle of the date and their phone rings? You never know, it might be her trying to bail on the date because it's going so terribly. Finally, be yourself. It's the first time you're meeting and you want to start as you mean to go on. If you're faking it on the first date, you're going to have to fake it for the rest of the relationship. Let the Food Standard Agency know what you're planning for Valentine's Day by tweeting at foodgov and using the hashtag lovefhrs. Happy dating and happy Valentine's Day.